I never would have believed that one day I would see this on mobile. What's cracking guys, it's your boy Last Pixel again with some pretty good news for your city builders and Caesar 3 fans out there. Recently, I was watching this guy on YouTube called Gamer Zack and I stumbled across something really interesting. By the looks of it, someone made an open source re-implementation of Caesar 3 by the name of Julius. The developer Bianca van Schaik, maybe, I'm terribly sorry if I butchered that, poured their heart and soul into making it, fixing some of the issues with the original and in general making it more accessible to people. On January 2nd, 2021, the dev also released an Android version of the game, which you're seeing right now. In this video, I'm gonna share with you how to set it up on your phone, what settings I recommend you to use, and I guess I'll showcase the game a bit because I can. <laughs> Alright, so in order for you to be able to play it, you will need the original Caesar 3 installed on your PC. Now, I know how that sounds, but hear me out. Technically, you will only need the installation folder with all the files. If you have it, copy that sucker over to your Android device via a USB data cable. After that, you will need to install Julius from the Google Play Store. Once you download and run the app, that will ask you for the folder in which the original game is. Simply specify the location and you're good to go. Additionally, you might want to download the map editor as well and integrate it with the game. That can happen via this place on GitHub. Of course, all of the links will be down in the description below for your convenience. The installation of the editor is also really simple. You only need to extract the contents of the zip file for your language to the folder in which the Caesar 3 installation is, or in this case, the folder that you copied from your PC and overwrite the files. If you don't have a .zip file manager, you can always download the trusty old WinRAR or RAR, RAR <laughs> via the Play Store and use it to extract the needed files from the archive. After all of that, you're ready to launch the game. Once inside, head over to the options and cross out the following. Play intro videos, fix immigration bug on very hard and fix 100 year old ghosts. Once you start the game, go to the top left and click on Options, Speed Settings, and set the game speed and scroll speed to 70%, because that's the normal speed. You can always adjust it later from the same place if you want to change it. And yeah, that's it. Kinda simple, right? Okay, that sums up the installation and configuration process. I'm really excited to showcase some of the gameplay to you guys, so... Let's jump right in. Let your governorial training begin. First, you must learn the basics of constructing Roman settlements. Build areas of housing and you'll soon see people move into your city. You can click and drag the mouse to build lengths of path at once. Plan paths carefully with as few intersections as possible to ensure people will walk where you want them to. At every intersection, walkers must choose which way to go. Each intersection lessens your control over their actual routes. Now, this is not a review of the game, but I will point out that the controls are going to require a few minutes of your time to get used to. That is only natural due to the fact that the original game was designed for the PC with the mouse in mind. That said, there is a somewhat tricky thing that you need to remember. When you're dragging houses, placing down roads, or when you're clearing trees, you will need to press the same spot on the screen to confirm your placement or deletion. Once you're done with removing stuff or placing down roads, be sure to remember to tap the X button on the top right, right next to the minimap. That'll save you from some future issues in which you accidentally delete parts of your town just because you forgot to freaking unselect that. I mean, I've done it a few times already. <laughs> Anyways. The awesome thing about this version of Season 3 is that the resolution is flexible and that everything from the original is here. From missions and map editor to the dialogues of all your citizens. In my humble opinion, this game slash port deserves way more praise for all the effort that was put into it by all the amazing people that made it possible. I can't really say how glad I am that now I'm able to play that classic on my goddamn phone. A little piece of trivia for you guys, I grew up playing this in the original Rome Total War, so 
I guess I'm familiar with how stuff works in this game, or at least to some extent, but I haven't had the chance to play this timeless classic in years, so I might be a little bit rusty. You know, I might have forgotten how to place down a proper house block or something, so don't judge me too hard, guys. Okay, let's start focusing on the city. Right now, I'm checking out if our well is covering all the houses, which is not. We're gonna have to place down another one. We got immigrants moving into the city, which is good. That's gonna raise our population. For now, we don't appear to have any access to any other structures other than the roads, houses and wells. So if I remember correctly, we will need to wait for the first fire to break out in order for us to be able to place down anything else. Keep in mind that the first mission is just a tutorial, so yeah. If you want to see more, feel free to let me know so that I can create more videos on the subject. We might kick off a playthrough or something like that if you guys want. By the way, I'm sure that I forgot to mention how much I love the goddamn soundtrack of Season 3. That thing is a masterpiece. I wonder if the first fire will break out when these guys settle. Ha! Huh, I called it. I might have jinxed it. <laughs> Alright, we need to build prefectures. Fire in the city. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. That thing can spread. Um, go on. So every time you place... Oh sh... Shiver me timbers. <laughs> Uh, that section of the road is going away. I guess I turned into a pirate or something, I don't know. <laughs> Alright. Every time we place down a building that will spawn a citizen, which will start looking for houses. Once he reaches one, he'll start recruiting workers from your unemployed population. So, yeah. That's pretty much the basic concept of how your buildings will get access to labor. For our little town, one prefecture should be enough to cover all the buildings that we have, so I'm not gonna worry too much about it. The first mission is really easy, so we can kick back and relax. One thing that you can remember guys is that it's down to... Oh, here we go. That's the perfect example why you should always press the goddamn X button. Uh, yeah, so as I was saying, it's pretty much down to the walkers themselves. Almost everything is dictated by how much these guys can reach. It might be best to be mindful of how you plan your road network. By the way, we should start seeing our buildings collapsing any second now. Here we go. Our buildings are now going down. That event gave us the engineering post. I'm gonna place one over here. Awesome, so the next thing we can build is a senate. I'm gonna clear some of the trees over here and place it right on top. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on, engineer. Do your job. Here we go. Cool, so we have new folks coming in. I'm just gonna clear some of the rubble and we're gonna place new houses on its place. Now, usually houses will require food but in this mission, it's automatically generated and distributed, so we won't have to worry about farms, granaries, and markets. I'm gonna clear this section over here, and right now our citizens should be safe from fires and from their houses collapsing upon them. Next on the list are some temples. We're gonna build one for every god. And that should wrap up the first mission in Season 3, or in this case, in Julius. As you can see, you can build temples of Ceres, Neptune, Mercury, Mars, and Venus. Every god in this game will give you a different benefit depending on how much your citizens worship that god. For the sake of this video, I'm not gonna go through all of the blessings that you can receive, but I will point out that they can be really useful at times. Great! 
So the only thing left for us is to reach 150 population. Which by the looks of it should be relatively soon. Okay, all of our houses are now fully evolved, so that should trigger a new wave of immigrants to come to our city. One hundred and twenty-three. Come on. Settle in, boys and girls. There's plenty of space for everyone. Alright, any second now. We just need a few more. Here we go. That was the first mission. Congratulations! You have grasped the basics to my satisfaction. In the interest of advancing your education, I have one more gentle assignment for you. Onward to Brundisium. Actually, this is the best place to end the video, guys, because Brundisium will probably take me around 40 minutes to complete. And I do want to keep this video short. So, thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see all you beautiful sons of guns again next time.